Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Trick Williams versus Javon Evans versus Sean Spears versus Ethan Page. This ruled. This is very good. Very, very good four way. I have like a, a nitpick. Like they did it very early. Uh, Ethan and Spears, who are the two heels, even though the Canadians, um, they did the spot where you take turns bashing each guy's head into the stairs. And that is a babyface spot. And there was a feud on the early days of SmackDown. Right? There's like Rock and Hunter as uh, unlikely partners against like Benoit and Angle. And they took, had a contest to see who could bash the other guy's head on the table. He got over huge. He could have done that here, but they did, they did it with the heels instead. Still worked. And uh, Trick is running wild and everyone until the heels double team him. And the crowd chants, Canada, Canada, which actually may be the first that I've heard that. So this goes on a long time, and there's a lot of stuff going on, but the key is Trick and Javon keep getting near falls, but keep getting broken up. Usually, it's Trick breaking up Javon's pin. Javon will do something spectacular, huge dive over the post, or a giant off cutter, or a cork corkscrew splash, and Trick is the one to break it up and save his title. So they had prepped the announce desk, but not done anything with it, and so when Javon tries a springboard and Trick catches him, catches him, and then pushes him backwards off the ropes through the table. Horrifying. Mm. Absolutely horrifying. Landing wasn't good either. Crowd is standing rest in peace. He was alive, it turns out. Uh, in fact, he broke up a pin to... Uh, uh, so this is, oh, e Ethan hit the Eagles' edge on Trick, and Evans broke up the pin, put Trick's foot on the ropes. So there's kind of a convoluted finish. It makes sense if you see it. There's kind of a lot to explain in podcast form, but the upshot is Trick... Hits, Evans is down. Evans is down on his back of the mat. Trick hits the trick shot on Ethan, who then falls backwards on top of Evans. Just then, Spears pulls Trick out of the ring so he can't pick up the pin. Evans' unconscious body pins, <clears throat> excuse me, Ethan's unconscious body pins Evans' unconscious body. And yes, Ethan Page is your new NXT champion. Vinny, can I correct you just for a second? Probably. I'm sorry I screwed half of that up. So Trick actually hit the knee on Javon. And then he also hit it on Ethan. Okay. Yes. So Javon went down. So Javon was pinned with Trick's move, but it wasn't by Trick because Trick spent most That's of this a good point. match. Yeah. Trick spent most of this match breaking up Javon's pins. And as I heard Brian say, the match should have been Javon against Trick, but he can go on that rant if he'd like. Well, I mean, there's a reason it wasn't Javon versus Trick because they wanted to put the title on Ethan. Sure. And I'm sure, you know. Here, here's, you know, I thought, okay, well, at least you can pin Sean Spears. <laughs> no, they pinned Javon Evans. I mean, they gave him everything in this match. He was a standout guy in the match. I mean, he was the most spectacular guy in the match. Mm -hmm. He was absolutely, absolutely great in this match. And, of course, they pinned him at the end. And I was going through, since I was on cage match, and I was going through the career of, of Javon Evans, and they mentioned that two months ago he turned 20. And every wow. time I rant about Javon Evans, I always hear the same thing from the same people. And that is, he's he's still young. He's got plenty of time. You know, there's there's a lot for him to learn, etc. So for those of you unaware, Javon Evans, despite the fact that he has uh, just turned 20, he has been wrestling for six years. Mm. He has had... 215 matches. Okay. 215 matches. That's a few. Okay, for those of you that don't, like, do this or anything, that's a lot of fucking matches. Yeah. That is not a green kid mm -mm. that needs seasoning, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, in some ways, he was the best guy in this match. I mean, it doesn't have as much experience as Ethan Page or Sean Spears, but, I mean, he was so great in this match. And, of course, they they beat him. And uh, what else is new? <laughs> but, anyway, he'll be fine in the end, but I would like it to be more than fine. I would like, you know, make a, make a big star. You know what's so funny, too, is if they did a Dynamite on Wednesday and, uh, like, Nick Wayne... Uh, got an impromptu match against Will Ospreay and beat him and won the international title. 
And they made this big deal about how, you know, 18-year-old Nick Wayne was, I bet you anything Javon would be champion two weeks later. Hmm. They they would react to it by doing that. But you know what? You could just do it first as opposed to reacting. You could do it right. Have a 20-year-old actually become the champion and, you know, push him to the moon. Hmm. I mean, he's been around the block. He's done plenty of jobs, and he's paid a lot of dues. I mean, it'd be all right, but same old deal. Match was awesome. It was a great main event. And going into it, I mean, going into it, I was on the fence. Like, is this going to be better than Money in the Bank? Well, by the time this match was over, the show was undoubtedly better than Money in the Bank. Very, very well worked four-way. I was very surprised to see Ethan Page win the title. But we'll see what the follow-up is on Wednesday. And uh, there was one final surprise at the very end. There was. And I'm glad you brought this up because we talked about when uh, they did the Battle Royal that Javon won. And there was a big name in that match who was punked and thrown out like a geek immediately and pissed off all the fans and has not been seen since, not heard from since, not hinted at since. And I began to go on a rant about how this superstar has been wasted. They buried him for no reason. It benefited nobody, and so help me God this actually happened, I typed Joe Hendry's name, and he appeared. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, that works, too, apparently. How about that? But yes, they, they, they aired that shot, that gif, basically, of Joe Hendry turning around and smiling, and uh, he's happy to see, apparently, this Ethan Page fella as NXT champion. You know, you'd think if they were going to do something with Joe Hendry, they wouldn't have eliminated him immediately in that fucking battle royal, but yeah. uh, whatever. I don't. You know what? You know what I don't do? Book this show. I can tell you that much right now. So anyway, an excellent edition of Heat Wave, all mm. things considered. And uh, if you're going to watch one show this weekend, if it's either Money in the Bank or NXT, watch this one. NXT Heat Wave. Significantly better show. Mm. And watch both of them on delay so you can just skip everything. Also true. Don't go back and watch them live. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up for today. Me and Vinny were up last night as well if you want the Money in the Bank recap. And uh, this coming Tuesday, yes. mm -hmm. WWF Challenge Season 2, Episode 2. Three. Three. I think Craig's right. We mm -hmm. never know. Because Episode 1 is the recap show? Right. Yes, that's right. It's Episode 3. Episode 3. That'll be Tuesday night. And uh, Tuesday... Uh, afternoon. Let's. Uh, you know what? There will be a Brian, there will be a big Vinny V show on Tuesday afternoon. It will be live. I don't know exactly what time yet. I got some other stuff going on. But uh, stay tuned to Twitter. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do: Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.